Well, I was living in uh, Spanish Harlem on Riverside Drive in Manhattan. And in my building was a family, a husband and wife and three children, three kids, uh, 17, 16, and 15. And I was sort of like the resident rock star from having the first album out, Thank God for Girls, back in 77 on private stock records. Hadn't hadn't written Into the Night yet, which became, of course, my signature song. Uh, and, uh, the, you know, we'd see the kids around the building, kids that were teenagers, you know, and everything was cool. And uh, my son's mother was friends with um, the, the, the family, you know. So one day... Um, I get a knock on my door, I open it up, and all three of the kids were crying, and they were there. And I, I said, my God, come in, what happened, what happened? And the 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 17-year-old girl, she said, our father left my mother and ran off with another woman in the chorus line of the show. He He was a struggling set designer on Broadway, and he landed a major show. And instead of coming home to his family and saying, our ship has come in. We're going to move out of here, go to Westchester, get a house, or have a better life. He decided to run off with some 24-year-old girl in the chorus line and left the family destitute. And I put my arms around them all three, and I said, everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right, I promise you. Of course, I didn't have any idea how everything was going to be all right, but it just broke my heart. And so what I did was I gave them each a job. I told Sean, who was the boy, after school every day, you come to my house and uh, you can run an errand for me. And I'd give him a $20 bill every day to, to go up and get me half a gallon of milk or a pack of cigarettes or something like that. Just, just a reason for him to go. And when he came home, I would always let him keep the change. And that way he had about 50 bucks a week in his pocket. And this is back in 79, so $50 a week for a kid in school, 15, was pretty good money, you know. Mm -hmm. And the older daughter... Uh, I, she, I paid her to come every Saturday and clean my apartment and I'd give her 50 bucks. But the 16 year old girl was named Heidi and she was the most devastated because she was daddy's little girl and she was just, just devastated at what had happened. And I felt so bad for her. I, and I said, look, Heidi, I'm up all night. I, I sleep late because I was sort of living the life of a rock star, even though I wasn't a rock star. I was just making, starting to make records really. And uh, I said, here's my key. Every day before school, you open the apartment door, take my basset hound, Zanky, Zanky Albo Rubidoux, who's been on two or three albums and in inner sleeve pictures and stuff. He, he was a famous basset hound in rock and roll for a while. I said, you take Zanky out for a walk in the morning, let him do his business, come back, feed him, and then go to school, and I'll give you $50 a week for doing that. So the kids were like kind of holding it together. They had money in their pockets so they could buy things for school and things like that, you know, just things that teenagers need. And uh, I, I had such disgust with the father that I think if I could have found him and I had somebody from Miami have a sit down with him, mm -hmm. I was that upset. I mean, just really, how, how can you do that, man? When I went into the night hit for me, first thing I did was pay off my mother's house take care of my sister and my family so that they were taken care of, you know? And so this guy did just the opposite. And so one, one night, Robert Tepper and I were up writing songs, and it was really um, about a week before we were leaving for Miami to cut the first big album, which was Never Run, Never Hide. Bobby kept playing the chords, changes, and we tried 18 melodies and 30 kind of lyrics, and all of a sudden the key in the door turned, and I said, oh my God, it's daylight, you know, because we like to keep the blinds down. And in she walks, 16 years old, dressed for school back in those days, mini skirt, little stacked heels, you know, adorable, 16 going on 21 kind of, you know. And uh, she said, you've been up all night? And of course it was obvious. And I said, yeah, we have. And she says, okay, come on, Zanky. And she walks the dog out. When she leaves, the, goes out the door, my partner goes, oh, my God. I said, hey, pal, she's just 16 years old. Leave her alone.